to sort of a little block right there. So everybody start by lying on your back. And start by paying attention to your regular breathing and where you feel that inside of your body. So that could be your ribs, your stomach, your sides. So as you take a breath in, just notice what parts of your body do you feel filling up a little bit and then deflating. And just hold your attention to that area. The move that we do in this class is focusing on full exhale. So staying in that position, you'll take a breath in through your nose and then you're gonna open your mouth and you're gonna get the longest exhale out about 10 seconds. You can even count. Everybody is muted, but if you weren't, I should be able to hear it. And the goal is, can you get a big long exhale out? And at the end of the exhale, you should feel a little bit of tension in your abs. Relax everything as you take a breath in. And repeat the cycle, breath in through your nose, full breath out through your mouth. You're thinking of deflating your whole body. Exhale until it gets uncomfortable. And as you breathe in, relax every muscle in your body and then repeat the cycle. See if each exhale, you can go a little longer. Picture everything deflating from your pubic bone to your chest. As you're exhaling, everything is just dropping, dropping, dropping down to the ground. And then as you take a breath in, relax every muscle that built some tension at the end of the exhale. and rest. You're now going to add some movement with your breathing. We're going into cat cow. So hands and knees. So you'll get your hands underneath your shoulders and knees underneath your hips. So hands and knees. As you exhale, you're going to let your low back relax down. Your head looks up a little bit. And then as you inhale, you reverse the move tuck the tailbone and push everything up towards the ceiling. Everybody will be different because everybody has different flexibility. So move as much as you can in each direction as long as it feels good. But I want you to go very slow. Exhale as your low back relaxes down, you look up, inhale, reverse that move, look down push everything up towards the ceiling. And 
really think one segment at a time. You're rolling your spine in each direction. And now you'll get to focus on the inhale. So you're gonna push your hips back into your heels. And then you're gonna put your elbows down into the ground. So hips all the way back, elbows to the floor, and you can support your head with your hands if you need to, or just keep your head there. And for this one, I want you to focus on the inhale. So your hips are all the way back. Relax into that position and think of breathing into the backside of your body. So as you take a breath in, expand the whole backside of your body to so exaggerate the breath in. And as you exhale, just think of melting into that position. Think deep breath in, you're breathing into your hips. And then back to lying on your back, working on the full exhales. This time you are going to hold your air out for three to five seconds before you breathe back in. So it's in through the nose, full breath out through your mouth. You're exhaling, 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 exhaling. At the end of the exhale, hold your air out for five seconds before you relax and breathe back in. So everybody is muted, but if you weren't, I should be able to hear your exhale. It's long, it's loud. See if each exhale, you can go a little longer and get comfortable holding your air out for a little bit. <clears throat> I want you to bring the attention to the middle of your body. As you're exhaling, your entire body should feel like it's getting smaller because you're deflating your body. Just notice how it gets smaller. It builds tension. Then you're holding your air out. You're just sitting there with the tension. And as you take a breath in, relax every muscle in your body and let the air come in and then repeat. You're just transitioning from deflating your body to filling it up and just pay attention to the middle of your body the entire time. See if each exhale you can go a little longer. The longer you can breathe out, the better your ribs will move, which means the better your body will move. And rest. Now your breathing can take a break. You're going back to cat cow, so hands and knees. The move is the same as you exhale, relax your low back down, untuck the hips, inhale, tuck the tailbone, push your chest up towards the ceiling. But this time, see if you can move a little bit less with less effort. So less muscles working. 
and see if you can make the move feel a little less effort with your abs, less effort with your arms. And now you're going to go back to your back. You're going to add a pressing motion. So the breathing stays the same. You're exhaling fully through your mouth. But this time the breath in will be a little different because you're going to think of breathing into the backside of your body. So start with your elbows on the ground and fingertips up towards the ceiling, like you're about to press a dumbbell or a push up. So now bring both arms up towards the ceiling and pick your shoulder blades off the ground. So reach, 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 like you're doing a quadra off fours position on the floor. As you exhale, you're gonna exhale through your mouth slowly as you slowly bring the elbows down. So your hands are coming down as you exhale. And at the end of the exhale, you're gonna hold for three to five seconds. As you breathe in, you reach the arms up towards the ceiling. So if you're breathing in, you're reaching up. As you're breathing out, which should be slow, your arms are slowly coming down. So the exhale should last about eight to 10 seconds. That means your hands are slowly coming down for eight to 10 seconds as you're deflating your whole body. And as you breathe in, reach up towards the ceiling. Pretend you're doing a push up. You're exhaling. You're slowly bringing yourself down into the ground. Your elbows are coming down. You're deflating your whole body. And as you inhale, think of pushing yourself away. Think of everything going into the floor. The backside of your body pushes into the floor as you take a breath in. And take a break. <clears throat> now we're going into quadruped rock backs. That means all fours. The breathing stays the same. So you're on your hands and knees and you'll transition from pushing your hips back to bringing yourself back to your top, to on top of your hands. So hands and knees first. As you inhale, you're gonna push your hips back towards your heels. As you exhale, that's where the slow transition goes because you're exhaling, 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 exhaling. You're still exhaling. Finding the top position of your hands, hold it. Inhale, go back. So if you are inhaling, you're pushing your hips back. If you're exhaling, you're slowly finding your weight back towards your hands. Everybody will be different on how much you can push back. So making sure that your hips don't pinch or your knees don't hurt. So only go as far as you can. And then exhale, slowly transition yourself back to your hands. Hold it for a second, then inhale. The goal is being able to control your breath while you're moving. 
Can you take your time? Can you have a nice little pause before you breathe in? And Lee, get your hands forward a little bit and then Tom, unshrug the shoulders a tiny bit. And rest. You're now going into half kneeling. So that is one knee up, one knee down with a little bit of a forward lean. So you're on your knees. You shift the weight back a little bit. So if you look down, you should be able to see your back knee. You don't want your hip in front of your knee. And you're going to keep that downward reach with your chest. And then all of a sudden, your arms are going to start moving. But I want your upper body movement to be effortless. So thinking of relaxing your upper body as you alternate a reach. So your elbows will bend about 90 degrees. And allow the shoulder blades to move. So you're reaching one arm forward, and then the other one goes back. So you're kind of rowing your arms back and forth. Think upper body is lazy. You're just reaching, relaxing one arm in front of the other. And you move without any tension in the upper body. As soon as you feel your neck and shoulder muscles to start working. Just try to relax and be very fluid with the move. Everyone looks good. Other side, so switch legs. Make sure you can see your bottom knee. And then the lower body stays pretty still, but then think of relaxing the upper body. Move one arm in front of the other. While you're pull, pulling one back, the other one's going forward. Make sure your face muscles are relaxed, your neck muscles are relaxed. And rest. You will now go back to your back and you're going into the imaginary press. So on your back, fingertips up towards the ceiling. The breathing stays the same. So start with both arms up towards the ceiling, shoulder blades off the ground. Start with a slow exhale as you lower your hands. Close your eyes and just follow your hands. Follow them all the way down to the ground to where your elbows hit the floor. You hang out there a little bit with no breath in your body. Everything is out. And then inhale, reach up. And follow your hands as they get pulled up towards the ceiling. And see if you can stay with your hands the entire time.
And then back to all fours. You will also close your eyes and you'll be focusing on the weight shift. You're gonna go from rocking back on the inhale to rocking forward on the exhale. So pay attention to where that weight distribution goes. Inhale, you go heavy on the knees. Hands don't get much of the weight. Exhale, transition the weight over back to the hands. Just see if you can do that with your eyes closed and you're paying attention to the weight distribution going back as you inhale and then exhale, slowly make it back towards your hands. And see if you can take your time before the inhale starts, see if you can hang out there with all the air out. And then back to half kneeling. This time, your arms will not be reaching back and forth. You will be rotating your upper body. So one knee up, one knee down. Put your hands across your body. So opposite arm is touching the opposite elbow. And now relax every muscle from your belly button up. So drop the arms in this position to relax everything. And now you're gonna turn on the inhale towards the leg that is up. So if your left leg is up, you're just gonna rotate your body to the left, but only enough to where you can still be relaxed. So if you start to tense up, that's where you stop. And then exhale back to walk, looking your forward ahead. As soon as you start to tense up, that's when you wanna stop moving. Exhale back to the beginning, looking straight ahead. So how much can you rotate by kind of relaxing the upper body? Try to catch yourself tensing up. Shoulders will tense up, neck will tense up. And now switch sides. Rest your hands on your shoulders. Relax every muscle from your belly button up and then rotate as you inhale. Exhale, relax yourself back to the front. and rest now you're up on your feet and you're going to be doing a squat hold so you're going to stand about hip width apart feet are going to be straight ahead and the first thing you're doing is you're shifting the weight back tucking the back pockets a little bit and reaching the hands forward and hold that position so Peter, give, give me a side view. Okay, perfect. 
And the breathing stays the same. So you've got the back of your heels pushed into the floor and you're exhaling all the air out. If you wanna challenge yourself, squat down a little more, as long as you keep your hips underneath you. And then push into your feet as you come up. Perfect. Next one is a controlled walkout. So you'll start by pushing your hips back into your into the heels, and then you're gonna crawl yourself into a push-up position, hold it, and then push yourself back to the standing position. Perfect, your arms are always pushing you away from the floor. Nice and slow, out into a push-up position. And then back to the standing position. Whoa, your hands will walk you back all the way until you find your heels. And rest. You're gonna do one more squat. So side view, step one, shift back into your heels. So shift the weight back, reach the hands forward and squat down a little bit, keeping your hips tucked. And just hold, pay attention to those heels. Keep the hips underneath you. You're still breathing. Chest up a little bit, Tom, right there. And then push into your feet as you come up. One more set of walkouts. So walk out into the push-up position as you exhale. So exhale, walk out into the push-up position, hold it. Inhale, walk yourself back to the standing position. Exhale, walk yourself out into a push-up position. Inhale, walk yourself back to the standing position. Maybe you can do one more and go very slow. Rest, you're now gonna go back to lying on your back. And you are going to focus on the same thing that you focused in the beginning, which is where you feel your breath inside of your body, which might be a little easier because you're warmed up and feel it even more and just pay attention to that without getting distracted. <laughs> 